that we get out here. So, Zachary, we might not get panthers, um, unfortunately. Now, panther is just a name for a black leopard, Zachary, before we talk about these dwarf mongoose. A panther is a name for a black leopard or a melanistic leopard, so we might get one out here. I've never seen one in this area, unfortunately. But they do exist in South Africa, and all it is is a leopard that has a genetic mutation that makes them black rather than their normal gold and spotted color. Right, let's talk about these little guys. Said that they're the smallest mammal predator in the Sabi Sands. They're very, very tiny. They're kind of like the size of a large rat, but they're not rats. It's an animal called a mongoose, and they have very, very complex little families that they live in. they're looking at me whenever I make that noise and speaking mongoose to them making little contact calls and squeaks now they've just just got warm enough to start going out and digging under the leaves for insects these are fierce scorpion hunters they've even been known to kill big snakes before working together as a team I love them because they're really clever, they're really curious, and they're also very, very cute. They live in a family that has kind of like a mom and a dad. So it's an alpha female and alpha male. And only the alpha female and male will make the babies of the group. The rest of the group helps to babysit them, to feed them, to look after them. They're amazing. And what they do is they live in these old termite mounds that are full of holes that they can dash into, like the one that's behind this mongoose that you're looking at, looking at now. So they've got a jungle gym and a home all rolled into one. And the more you sit with the dwarf mongoose, the more you see. I'm just trying to do a little bit of a count here, a head count. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 little dwarf mongoose all running around can't see them all but we can see those of them that are scurrying about the entrance to their home now this is where they've spent the night tucked away safely look carefully because you've got to keep a sharp eye to spot a dwarf mongoose this is where they s they went to sleep last night cuddled up inside their tunnels inside a termite mound nice and warm keep themselves cozy and only when it gets light and in winter dwarf mongoose are kind of lazy they like to sleep in every morning because it's too cold for them to go out and they only come out when the sun comes up and they can go and lie in the sun and get warm again